It came from the sky and it drastically changed our lives. an unusually hot and humid day. But other than that, it was a typical Friday for the folks in Newton Falls, running to the bank, picking up a few last minute things for the weekend, and just the ordinary everyday activities were taking place. The excitement of graduation filled the air as senior high students and parents were getting ready for graduation on Sunday, rushing around to make last minute preparations for the upcoming open houses. The high school gymnasium was beautifully decorated as it awaited the forthcoming 107th annual commencement ceremony. Suddenly, with little introduction, it came from the sky and a typical day became a most unforgettable one. Touching down just a few miles west of Newton Falls in Portage County, the twister ripped a path of destruction down Charleston Road, leaving behind ruins beyond description. This area along Charleston Road was one of the most severely hit as anything within the grasp of the funnel was heavily damaged or destroyed beyond repair. The sanctuary of the congrega Congregational Church, damaged but still standing, burned the following morning as a result of leaking gas. The sanctuary of the First Church of God received substantial damage along with the nearby Ashland Gas Station. Across the way, Veterans Park was stripped of its trees and the shake shingles on the beautifully designed gazebo had vanished. The river adjacent to the park was choked with fallen trees and debris, creating a possible hazard of flooding in the event of a heavy rain. Allen's Drug Town on the other side of the river was completely leveled along with its neighbor, Sohio Gas Station. Continuing to retrace the route the funnel took, we find that the windows in the city hall shattered and the American Legion Hall next door was damaged beyond repair. The bowling alley, mom's restaurant, and the local post office were all totally destroyed. Automobiles at Vermilion Ford were stacked on top of one another like logs in a wood pile. Then the junior high school and the high school gymnasium caught the fury of the tornado. The gymnasium roof disappeared and a pile of rubble was all that was left inside. The junior high portion of the building was devastated. The school parking lot housed a huge pile of debris and the interior of the classrooms were destroyed beyond repair. What once was a stairwell in the junior high is now partially missing. Fortunately, the tornado did not strike on the day of graduation. From viewing this scene of the interior of the gymnasium, it does not take much imagination to determine what could have possibly happened had it been filled with people. The Phoenix Twister tore homes to shreds in the J Street and Franklin Street areas. There was once a home on this site. The, the tornado smashed across the east branch of the Mahoning River onto the Arlington football field. The press box off the top of the home bleachers vanished and a light pole came crashing through the stands, virtually destroying the entire lighting system. Many homes in the vicinity of the Riverview Drive were completely destroyed. Power lines, telephone lines, trees, and debris filled the streets, making passage impossible in an automobile. On Monday night, President Reagan declared Trumbull County a national disaster area. Governor Richard Celeste, making a personal visit to the area, also declared the city a disaster. Yes, there were injuries as a result of the tornado, but when we view the awesome destruction and think about all of the airborne debris that went flying about we must realize that we witnessed a miracle in the sense that there were no deaths in Newton Falls as a direct result of the tornado. Help came from all directions. 
neighbor helping neighbor, strangers from distant places helping in the cleanup, and restoring power lines and telephone lines. The National Guard and American Red Cross came to assist in the early stages of recovery. Traffic became a major problem as sightseers attempted to enter the community, causing further congestion and interfering with the cleanup operation. The State Patrol, National Guard, and other police agencies provided valuable assistance in the security and traffic control. The Ohio Department of Transportation provided tremendous assistance in the cleanup effort. Relief stations were set up at local churches where victims could get assistance such as clothing, meals, and shelter. The Red Cross set up several emergency stations to assist those in need. Food was plentiful as donations poured in to feed the hungry workers helping out at the more ravaged portions of town. Hot meals were regularly served in several locations to those working on the cleanup operation. A map was quickly devised providing an organized plan for the removal of the rubble. Local officials, police, fire department, utility workers, and volunteers worked around the clock putting forth a maximum effort to bring Newton Falls out of the chaotic state left by the tornado. It was essential that power and telephone service be restored as quick as possible. Trees, telephone poles, and rubbish had to be removed from the streets in order to make passage possible. Since the school superintendent's office and board offices housed in the junior high building were destroyed, offices were quickly moved to the Newton Falls Methodist Church where it was possible to organize and begin working on solutions to make the many problems resulting from the tornado's destruction of the school facilities. Our town, our schools, and many folks are having to rebuild what took a good portion of a lifetime to accomplish. But we will make it. The important thing is that no lives were lost and we still have our loved ones and friends to help us start from scratch again here in Newton Falls. One can do little to prevent the destruction of the buildings as a result of a tornado, but there are things we can do to save lives. An early warning system is a must. Mr. Clayton Reeks, a volunteer weather spotter, was on top of the municipal building when he spotted the approaching tornado. He radioed to the police dispatcher, John Swenson, hit the siren and take cover. The folks of Newton Falls owe Mr. Reeks a great big thanks. An untold number of lives were saved due to his dedication of weather spotting and getting the first warning out. <laughs>